October 15th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 137 and 138 from the Old Testament. By the rivers of Babylon we sit down and weep when we remember Zion. On the poplars in her midst we hang our harps, for there our captors ask us to compose songs. Those who mock us demand that we be happy, saying, Sing for us a song about Zion. How can we sing a song to the Lord in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, may my right hand be crippled. May my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you and do not give Jerusalem priority over whatever gives me the most joy. Remember, O Lord, when the Edomites did on the day Jerusalem fell. They said, Tear it down, tear it down, right to its very foundation. O daughter Babylon, soon to be devastated, how blessed will be the one who repays you for what you dished out to us. How blessed will be the one who grabs your babies and smashes them on a rock. I will give you thanks with all my heart. Before the heavenly assembly, I will sing praises to you. I will bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Because of your loyal love and faithfulness, for you have exalted your promise above the entire sky. When I cried out for help, you answered me. You made me bold and energized me. Let all the kings of the earth give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words you speak. Let them sing about the Lord's deeds, for the Lord's splendor is magnificent. Though the Lord is exalted, he takes note of the lowly and recognizes the proud from far away. Even when I must walk in the midst of danger, you revive me. You oppose my angry enemies, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord avenges me. O Lord, your loyal love endures. Do not abandon those whom you have made. God, I was doing some research in the commentaries about the Psalms, um, because a lot of them are similar praising you and we should totally praise you um, but I was studying about the amount of them and the consistency in the praising part and one of the commentaries said something that is kind of common sense but was kind of an aha moment for me it said that even even those who have faith and deep faith um, by telling others about their faith by praising you God and by singing these out loud constantly it reminded them because even though people with strong faith even people who have strong faith there are times when that strength in their faith uh, wanes and I think ev almost everybody listening to this has gone through those times where we don't feel as close to you as we normally do uh, in fact, sometimes we feel really, really, really far away from you. And being surrounded by a community, I think, is so important. I hear more and more people talk about, you know, I believe in God and I read the Bible and I pray to him, but I don't go to church because I don't like church. And I understand that. I've, <laughs> I've been to my fair churches that were horrid and caused so many problems and they're run by human beings. So, of course you know, broken people, butting up against broken people, it's going to cause problems. But after praying to you to send me to a church, I'm now at a church that is more like a family than a church I go to on, on just Sunday. They have neighborhood groups, they have Bible studies. Um, you know, I meet with people outside of church for coffee times where we talk about things. Uh, there's a group of women that I can call on at any given time that is my accountability group. And I really wonder how my faith would look right now if you hadn't put all those amazing people in my life to, to make my faith very public, to make my faith very vocal, uh, and to help support and encourage me when, when my faith was weary, uh, just like in these Psalms where they're constantly praising you. I, again, I totally believe with my whole heart that you deserve our praise 24-7. But even with that, our strength alone can't maintain us. And it's so amazing that 
that you didn't make a millions of Janelles on this earth or just me by myself. You made all these amazing people with all these different gifts and skills and, and attributes in your family to help support and encourage one another. And God, I just ask that you remind me that I'm part of that in somebody else's life, that I'm there to bring them hope and support them and encourage them when their when their strength in their own faith is is kind of waning or uh, they've gotten their priorities out of order uh, i'm always thankful when, <laughs> when my accountability accountability group goes um janelle i think your other priorities are taking precedent over the most important thing which is god and so moving god back into the forefront is a great thing that they do but god remind me that i'm that in other people's lives that even though i'm here to tell uh, people about you uh, who who aren't part of your family yet i'm also here to help my fellow christian man and woman my fellow brother and sister and whatever it is that they're going through don't ever let me get so wrapped up in my daily ministry to-do list that i forget that there are real people out there with real situations with real struggles um, that can be going on right now can be going on within their family can be going on with their friends God just allow me to be perceptive and aware of that so that I can help them build up their faith because I know when our faith is on keel on track it makes it much easier for us to go out and tell other people about you so allow me to uh, be that support and that strength for other people Give me the strength so that I can give that strength to other people. In your son's name I pray. Amen.